Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Profile Manager and we're going to take a look at how to install iOS devices into your Profile Manager. So as I showed earlier, I showed you how to install your Macs in Profile Manager. So now we're going to look at our iOS devices and it's going to uh, take place by taking a look at the My Devices screen, but we're going to have to do it over on our iOS device. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this installation over on my iPad. Okay, here we are over on my iPad. Now to go ahead and enroll, we're going to need to go to Safari. So let me just tap on Safari here. And what you're going to want to do is go to your server site. So that would be HTTPS uh, colon two backslashes and then server dot, you know, whatever your site is, server.example.com backslash my devices. Now, once you do that, you're presented with this login screen. And so we're just going to go ahead and tap on login after you put your information in there. And here we are in the login screen. Now you can see that it will show me uh, any devices that I've already enrolled in the system here. And you can see there's my MacBook Pro, which we did in our previous screencast. And so here we have our iPad. Now, just like we did before, we're gonna need to install some other profiles before we hit enroll for the iPad, because we need to do this on all of our devices. So I'm gonna tap on profiles here, and we're gonna go ahead and install this trust profile for Todd Oltoff. So I'm gonna hit install. And it's going to take me right over to my device management area. And it's going to ask if I want to install this trust profile. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say install. And it's going to ask me now to enter my passcode. So let me put that in uh, real quick. Okay, once I have my passcode in there, I tap done. And it's going to say, hey, I'm going to install the certificate. And it's going to add this certificate to... Uh, your profiles there and that means it's going to trust this server uh, this open directory server that you're attaching it to which is what we want to do so we tap install and install again and so now the profile is installed we tap done and it takes us right back to the website and so here we are back in Safari so now that we've got that profile installed we're going to come over here to devices and we're just going to tap on enroll to enroll this iPad and so it's going to take me over here and it's going to install some more certificates. Okay, so here's uh, the information on my remote management certificate. And you can see there it contains the mobile device management, the device identity certificate, and the certificate itself. So the same thing here, we're going to install this. It's going to ask for my passcode again, so I need to put that in. And once I have my passcode in there, I tap done. And so it says, hey, if you install this certificate, it's going to allow the administrator of the server to remotely manage your iPad, which means you're giving up some control and they can, you know, change some things for you, remotely install profiles. Are you sure you want to do that? Again, in our case, yes, we do, because this is our server. We know it is. And so we're going to tap install. It's going to say, are you sure you want to trust this? We're going to say trust. And so it's enrolling the certificate. And you can see what it's doing there at the top. It says enrolling certificate. And it might take a little bit of time because it's putting in more than one thing. Uh, so it's going to go through this process. There's installing the profiles. And now the profile is installed. And if I tap done, it takes me back to the website. And you notice now my iPad is enrolled. And you can see it has the serial number on there. I can lock my iPad from this website. I can, I can wipe it. And I can even clear the passcode if I want to do that. Or I can tap the remove button there at the top to uh, remove the iPad any time that I want from the server itself. So that's how you would enroll uh, those particular services. Now, if you wanted to, you could also install some profiles uh, on here. Let's tap back on the profiles. And here we have the settings for everyone. And if I just show the contents of that, this will set up my identification certificate, the VPN, the messages uh, server, the uh, OS 10 server account, calendar, and contacts. Just by tapping that install button, it will install all of these different services uh, right onto my uh, iPad. So let me just tap that install just to show you what it looks like. So again, it takes me back in here to where my certificates are. And it says, okay, do I want to install all of these different uh, settings here? Again, the, the CalDAV for the calendar, the CardDAV account, the OS X server account, uh, the VPN settings, all of that kind of stuff. Do I want to make those things available here on my iPad by having them installed? And so I can go through the process of doing that. So let's just go ahead and do that and see what happens here. I'm going to hit install. And so again, it's going to ask me to enter my passcode. Okay, once I have my passcode in there, again, I tap done. And it says, okay, do you want to install VPN? I'll say, sure, install. So it asks, and I'll say, install the profile. And so now it's going to ask for my passcode for the VPN account. Okay, so the one that I have on the server, it's going to ask me for that code. 
Okay, once I've put that in, I tap next. And now it's going to ask me for the uh, it's going to ask me for the username for the OS 10 server account for file sharing. So I need to put that in there. And once I have that in there, I tap next again. And then it's going to ask for the password for file sharing on there. So now I type in this password. Okay, once I've typed my password in there, I tap next. And now it's going to ask me for my password for the calendar. You can just see what's going to happen here. So we just have to put in these passwords. Okay, once that's in there, again, tap next. And it's going to ask me to do the same thing for contacts. Okay, once that's in there for contacts, again, tap next. And that should be the last one. And now it says the profiles are installed. I say done. It takes me back to the website. And now I have all of that different information all set up, already ready to go for me inside of my iOS device. So you can see that I didn't have to do a lot of work to add uh, those individual accounts. I could do it all in one setting just by installing that settings for everyone profile. And all of my services are set up on my iOS device. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.